how to join Google Classroom. First of all, from the Play Store app of your phone, search Google Classroom. Once you find this logo, Google Classroom by Google LLC, then prepare to install it. It's going to take maybe two to three minutes to install. You have to be sure that you are having a Google ID that is also called a Gmail ID so that you can join the class. And join the class with just one ID and always keep the same ID. So once it has been installed, you have to open it and get started. They will ask you to choose the ID for the classroom so you can choose any ID. But always keep the same ID for the classroom. Do not change it. So once you just enter your ID, you will see the classroom like this. From the plus button you can see that you can join the class for joining the class you need a class code from your teacher you can write it over here or you can simply paste it over here then join the class once you have joined the class the classroom will look like this And when you press this blue space, you will find your classworks or your assignments on this page. This is the stream page. On this panel, you are going to find your notifications. Once you open the classwork, you can see what your teacher has uploaded for you. You can then download it in your phone print it out, solve it and upload it again. So once it's downloaded, you can solve it in your notebook or you can keep the photocopy or the print, the printout in your folder. This is the second classwork. You can also download it in your phone. Then you can take a printout and keep it in your folder or solve it and return it to your teacher. On this classwork panel, you, you will always find your classworks. And I have told you how to download them. In the comments, you can write down the class comments. For example, uh, personal comments or private comments. You can write down, for example, the teach teacher, can you please help me with question 5? So once you just post the comment, then the teacher will see what action she needs to take. And um, you can wait for that. This is the page on which you can see the people. You, it will be like for the teacher and your classmates. Now, 
when you whenever you will go back to your classroom every time you will find the new work new material and new assignments so this is the new assignment you want to assignment means you are going to hand it in again to your teacher so that she can mark it for you so just press uh, this button because this one is for the marks like 20 points so you need to solve it definitely so that you do not lose your marks and um, you can add a private comment if it's hard for you or you have any difficulty so now for attaching the work you have to go to the files and you have to choose any file that you need to attach so go to the file and uh, attach the work or if you want to take a photo then take a photo if you are once you are happy with your photo you can press ok or if you want to uh, take a photo again and read you can retry it's for the proper light so take the proper photo so that every detail is visible and then you can press ok to upload it may take a while so while it's uploading we can go back and choose any other material that we need to upload or simply so for other material you have to go to the storage of your phone and uh, you have to choose from the documents that maybe you have made in uh, Microsoft Word or you can go to your phone gallery and your images now your classwork has been uploaded I mean your assignment and um, you can check it one time if it is correct otherwise you can unsubmit it and resubmit it okay so now you're satisfied with your work you can hand it in to your teacher for the marking okay now I think I forgot to submit one paper so I will unsubmit this assignment and I shall go back to the second paper I have to solve it of course in the Microsoft Word I shall write my name and the question I can adjust the font by using the font uh, options. I can also adjust the writing. I'll write the question and then write the answers. Uh, this is just a rough example. It's not exactly the answers to the uh, uploaded worksheet. So it's just an example. You can write like this just the answers if the teacher has instructed you just to write the answers so just write down the answers example only and not the correct answers this is just an example okay so I shall go back I know the name of my document it is document number two and I shall go back to the class I shall go back to this blue space and I shall go back to the assignment and I will unsubmit the previous assignment unsubmitting the assignment doesn't mean that you are deleting it 
you will get the option to delete it on the right corner there is a small cross you can cross it or you can leave it and add the second page so go to your phone storage go to the documents or downloads wherever you think your document that you need to upload is stored you can also go to dcim for the phone gallery okay so let's uh, upload the document so i shall go to the documents and the document number two i shall upload because it was the answer and now i can submit both of them both of the answers answer sheets to the teacher so i will resubmit my work because now i'm satisfied that i have done the task completely once the work is handed in the teacher will mark it and return it to you and you will always see it on your classwork panel now from the people you can see your teachers and your classmates you can always add uh, a comment in the class like you're greeting everyone or you can share a new idea with your class if it is required otherwise do not write so many uh, comments just um, keep to your work be focused so i want to make a quiz who wants to join you can write like that if anyone will be interested they will answer you and then uh, this is the side panel in which you are going to find more details now once you are uh, done every time you can join a new class for example this is this was the mathematics class you can go and join english class and science class and social studies may, many other subjects which are allowed in your school so you can join many classes with the help of uh, the plus button but every time you need a class code from your teacher without a class code you cannot join any class if by mistake you delete your class you can request your teacher to send you the class code again So that's it. Good luck to you.